Hello everyone, uh, let's get started as we journey back in time to the early 20th century. A period marked by rising political tensions, we find ourselves at the brink of a monumental event, the eruption of World War I in the year 1914. The signs of the impending conflict were stark and evident across the Western world. Newspapers and magazines played a pivotal role in shaping public perception, offering extensive coverage in the political and military machinations unfolding on the European continent. Within the media landscape, a notable faction emerged, actively advocating for an aggressive stance and seemingly anticipating an imminent conflict. These voices appeared to be driven by the belief that the war would be a brief and contained encounter, restoring the equilibrium of power to their preferred state. In contrast to the anticipation of a swift and clean skirmish, the reality that unfolded was far more complex and devastating. Populations worldwide were exposed to a relentless barrage of patriotic messages and fervent calls to arm. While this perspective wasn't the sole narrative within the media, in hindsight, it became apparent that certain correlations emerged. As scholars examined the aftermath of the war, they identified a significant link between media campaigns championing war and patriotism and the subsequent mobilization of motivated individuals willing to serve their country on the battlefield. The media landscape had become a catalyst for inciting a sense of duty and nationalism, leading countless men to volunteer as soldiers in what would become one of the bloodiest conflicts in history. The commencement of the war marked the onset of massive propaganda campaigns on all sides. Propaganda often characterized as one-sided, biased, and unobjective communication, played an instrumental role in shaping public sentiments during this period. In 1914, the world witnessed an unprecedented push to influence the masses through media communication. Leaders in the realms of politics and the military wielded communication as a formidable weapon drawing parallels to the strategies employed by ancient Greek and Roman leaders. These historical precedents laid the groundwork for the manipulation of minds through persuasive messages, adding yet another dimension to the art of warfare. In the aftermath of World War I, scholars meticulously analyzed the effects of intense propaganda efforts. Notable outcomes were observed Soldiers marched into battle with a sense of enthusiasm. The home front exhibited a united front of support for the military. Enemy soldiers defected en masse to be taken captive. And the entire landscape of war and politics was marked by the imprint of media-driven influence. This period held profound implications on the field of communication theory. Solidifying the belief in the profound power of mass communication through media channels. Termed the all powerful media paradigm, this era marked a pivotal shift in understanding the potential of media to shape perceptions, beliefs, and behaviors on an unprecedented scale. As we transverse the annals of history, it is crucial to grasp the role that media played during World War I a role that would forever alter the trajectory of communication theory and our understanding of the media influence on societies at large.